might want a time in it. Just to challenge myself and see what I'm capable of. That's it really. teamed up at Hall's, didn't we, Max? Yep. I think it's nice that you have someone to share it with. The views have just been absolutely spectacular these last few days. But also, I think you keep each other going. Especially during the night, knowing that there is, there is someone just close to you, it helps a lot. This stage, just to get me going, is just to get to the end. This last stage, it's, uh, yeah, you know, 65, 66 kilometers to go. And yeah, just gotta get, get it done. Emotional, I'm tired, but last push, so uh, yeah, just crack on, get it done. I know it's, it's within grasp, but it's still a hard day to get through. It's gonna be a cold night, because I'll be still out there tonight. Body's fine, it's ahead, but, uh, just need to get my head in the game. I've got reasons for doing this. I'm raising money for cancer. I'm sorry. My niece passed away. She's only 27. Just no age. So I just need to get my head in the game. Listen for her. And all the support I've had. And all the support of my family. So, uh, yeah, it means a lot. Oh, well, I'll be out and fine. I feel like I'm stronger today than I was on day one. I twisted my ankle day one. 80% <laughs> of this is in your head. Speaking, just trying to try and get as much done in daylight today. I'm really struggling through the night, so I just keep falling asleep while I'm trying to move. No matter how hard I try, I can't fight the sleep. Just looking forward to a proper night's sleep now. The time pressure, we had to push hard up to Greenhead to give ourselves a fighting chance to get to Bellington with time for rest. That was tough, I think that was the toughest night. Um, that's when the sleep deprivation started to hit. Started to feel fatigued for the first time. Very cold. Got a bivy out last night at minus five. So it's proper does what it says on the tin spine weather. I'm not broken. I'm still smiling. I won't be kissing the wall because too many has done that. But well, I'm sure I could do the point. I'd like to say a big thanks to my wife. This couldn't be possible without her help. Tolerated the hours I spent out training. You couldn't do it without a good woman behind you. That's a good one. And the same goes for me and Teresa, who puts up with my mad antics and run, she's run me up and down the length of England so I can do the recce's and feeding me. And as Chris said, you do need a good support crew at home to get through these things because it so soaks up so much time. It's a team effort, it's definitely a team effort. Very, very uh, tired, massive sleep deprivation. That is a big problem. I was convinced I could see some cars um, on, on the forestry track and it turns out to be a tree. 
because we've fallen on the forestry road. I mean, even at this moment now, my head is just buzzing from lack of sleep. Basically, I'm one and a bit stages away from picking up this medal. I think even more importantly, the knowing that you've completed the winter spine race. That, that is something I've wanted for years and years and years. I've come too far now to bow out. You know, I've got paracetamol, I'll take that if I have to. last night on Hidden Wall to get asleep this afternoon um, and so hopefully I'll be okay to go this night. Feeling good. I can still almost smell the finish so it's good to finish it probably the early hours of the morning I guess realistically. If it was all like this it'd be fine wouldn't it? If you just get this path put it all the way through for me. And last leg. Feeling very confident. I'm tired now. I've had to put the music in to stay awake. <laughs> Think about it for so, so long, and then it's like, oh my word, <laughs> it might actually happen. You're not competing against anybody else when you're at my level. It's just you against the elements. And it's just a massive adventure, it's fantastic. I think so many people in life don't get the chance to do this. And I think if you do, then you should grab it and try and do your best. And, and you know, and if you, do, if you don't succeed then, that's fine, but you've tried. And you, you know, as long as you've got that conviction that you've tried your best, didn't leave anything up to chance, then yeah. I broke my one of my ribs on, on Sunday. I've been running a whole week, pick a broken rib and I'm taking it easy so I guess that some person are more prepared for something than others. Maybe I am not any good enough at swimming or any other thing but I I love sports. I was in the Spanish Olympic Olympic team. 30 years ago and sports is my, my life so I can do this. Good evening and welcome back to Kirkgate and where once again I'm standing outside the Border Hotel, the traditional end of the Pennine Way National Trail and therefore the end of the Montane Winter Spine Races. It's been another day of celebrations here. The last of our podium places have been decided with the second woman in the big race, that being Hannah Rickman arriving a little while after breakfast and not too long after lunch, Edwina Eddie Sutton reached the wall. The podium places are decided, but the race of course continues into Sunday morning. There's a long way to go, and those who followed the race before know that from this point, it's a war of attrition. You don't get faster from here. You don't feel better. It's a race against time and a race against fatigue, and that race will come to a crunch point tonight in Bellingham, CP5, where there is a hard cut off at midnight. So stick with us. We'll be here at the finish line, as always, waiting for every single one of them to cross the line. We're sure you'll be watching over them on the tracker as well.